So I uh, decided to trade my Sigma 380. I'd been looking at nine millimeters for a while, and you know, really, I wanted a P226 uh, Sig, and I was looking around and. I didn't want to spend all that money, uh, so I started looking, you know, less than $500, and I found a guy that was willing to trade uh, the Springfield Subcompact 9mm XD for my Sigma 380, which is from like 1985, a box of 250 rounds of 380 and a $100 bill. So I paid about 80 bucks for the 250 rounds. I put the value at the Sigma at about 200. So I figured I paid about 380. He was asking uh, 440 on arms list. I also got uh, this leather Galco inside the waistband that I'm not very impressed with. I just don't like carrying inside the waistband. I don't think it's very comfortable. You know if you have to do a long period of time or if you have to drive or anything like that so that that's actually why i got this outside the waistband at galco i i hadn't i i maybe saw this for two days before i got that it wasn't this holster wasn't why i went with this galco brand i just really thought it looked cool when <laughs> i was looking at it online it's really slim and I feel like it's pretty much the same as inside the waistband. It's just outside the waistband. And so I can carry it in the car comfortably. Pretty much carry it with a loose shirt over it anywhere. And I feel it's as concealed, if not more, than when it's inside the waistband. So I really love this holster. In fact... I got, uh, the, about the, uh, three days ago, I got caught helping someone move. And I did, they said they wanted to move one couch, and they, they were in Minneapolis in a bad neighborhood. So I thought, okay, you know, I'm going to Minneapolis. I better bring my gun. And I ended up moving for like six hours. It was an entire house, and the guy wasn't even ready, of course. But it was completely comfortable. I mean, I felt a little bit. You know, I kept checking it and stuff, but that was me. The gun stayed in place. I actually put my belt loop uh, inside there on the, on the side. So I really like how that feels. Uh, the gun, I really love. Um, there's a lot of reasons I love it. Uh, one is my Sigma had six rounds. This one has 16, if you can see that. And then another one with 13. So I really like that. I like the 9mm round. It's pretty, I mean, not that the 380 isn't easily accessible. Uh, there are a few things at first that was kind of confusing for me. You can't rack the slide back without pushing this rear safety. I hope this is all on camera. Without pushing this rear safety. So I had to get used to that. Um, but once you get used to that, that's not bad. And don't judge me. I, uh, used a, a green crayon actually, and, uh, put it in the inlay there. I'm not sure whether I like that or not. I was messing with the top inlay as well. Uh, the other thing I really like about this gun is once it's loaded, it has a, a bullet indicator, which I like. And if you rack the slide back, this little button comes up, which I think is really cool too, especially at nighttime, you know, to know if you're you're good to go. I think that would be great. Um, and then as far as taking down the gun, if you've never taken down one of these, it's the, it's I think it's the same as a Glock. You you push that forward, bring this down. You pull the trigger, slide it forward, and that's that. And then pretty much standard here, pull out the string, the spring, pull out the barrel. 
So, yeah, I really like it. Uh, this is the first time I've owned an XD. As far as shooting it, uh, my first impressions were great. Uh, compared to that Sigma with the gutter sights, uh, this was very accurate. It uh, it shot like my 22, really. It really did. Um, in the 16 shots, I think I hit five uh, spots in the exact same hole. So um, I'm going to get this GoPro out and, uh, and show you how I can fend with it. But I like it. I like the two-tone. I like when I have the extended mag or the or the regular mag. I have a full grip. I like the trigger safety and the spec safety as far as holstering it. And uh, I was taught a little trick where you, you holster it with your thumb right there. And then no worry of touching that safety at all. Uh, let's see, it came with one of these. I guess you always get one of those. Whatever. Came with one of these. I guess you always get one of those. Came with one of these. This is handy, and I don't even know if I'm using it right, but uh, even if I'm not, it's a lot easier, especially when you get down there. Uh, this tool comes in it. Oh, yeah, and it comes with this doohickey to adjust the uh, the tension on your holster. There's a little holster with it, too, somewhere. You guys know what it looks like. I got another one of these to put on the bottom there. And I actually tried to do that, and I pushed that little button, and I slid it off, and the spring went flying out. <laughs> Uh, and I didn't like how it looked, and I didn't like that I couldn't put my pinky on there anymore, so. All right. Safety sallies. Hopefully you got a heart attack there. Have a great day.